First thing this morning we had a tiger moth roll out of its hangar. Such a cool sight and what a perfect way to kick things off for the day. And with that, welcome to day two of our final stint on the build assist, what I'm calling final assembly week. Plenty of exciting progress ahead, so let's get into it. Alright, so here I am working on the Sling TSI side door. This is the first prep stage. We've taped everything up so we can run a clean bead of Sikaflex after scraping out the factory groove. Sikaflex is seriously sticky stuff and it's what we're going to use to hold the windscreen down as well. So you really want to make sure you get take the time and get this stuff right. Once this layer cures, we'll rip off the tape and reapply it so we can come back with a matte black coat over the top. That not only sharpens up the look, but it also adds durability and protects the paintwork into the future. These little details might not seem like much, but they're one of the many reasons I went with the Build Assist program. Errol's years of experience and attention to detail make this a huge difference. Things like this usually don't happen on the standard factory builds. It's a fiddly process and it takes patience and time, but it means the canopy window seals properly, the paint stays protected, and the doors lock and perform like they should years down the track. Good afternoon and welcome back to day number two on our final week up here at Heckfield on the build assist for our Sling TSI. Uh, it's about two o'clock so I'm doing this a fair bit later than what I would normally do in terms of introductions of the episode. Um, so you have to forgive me a little bit. I've popped the camera away um, a little bit this morning. Just wanted to try and enjoy it a little bit more today so hopefully you can understand that a little bit. Uh, I'm, you know, in my last few days of the build assist and I'm really looking to make sure that I enjoy those last few days. Uh, that said, we've got a, we've got a fair bit done. Still working on that interior side of it predominantly, but we've also been working on, uh, the windscreen preparation, um, and also our, um, side doors as well too. So there's a lot of preparation there that needs to happen in terms of filling. So got a lot of masking tape up in and around that area now. Uh, it's really well prepared um, for us to start getting uh, getting a little bit of sealing in there. And uh, and then yeah, obviously the interior side of things is still banging away. Um, so yeah, look, all in all, just been a really productive morning, just ticking off a lot of tasks, and the kit's just getting smaller and smaller as we're going along. Um, weather's beautiful up here at the moment, really, really, really good. Uh, just starting to dawn on me a little bit that this is just about to end, so um, been a really, really cool experience. I think I've said it a million times, but I uh, wouldn't take it back for, for quids. So uh, anyway, so that's just basically where we're at. Uh, as I said, a little bit later in the day, but uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give you a bit, of a bit of a show on what the progress is, and it'll obviously be a little bit of a shorter episode again today too, and hopefully I'll get back into my mojo next uh, tomorrow. Once it sort of gets to this stage of your build in the Build Assist, there's just so much happening. People are all over the place doing mm -hmm. different things on the plane. And, uh, and one of the things that I wanted to showcase here was the work that Mitchell was doing on the interior side of things in the fuselage. He'd been, uh, he'd been in this space probably for the best part of about 12 or so hours, uh, sniffing glue and uh, doing a terrific job. So I just wanted to highlight a little bit about what was going on in here. Been busy in here, Mitch. Yeah, so pretty much the rear is in about 90, probably 95% done. Yeah. Now he's gonna, Errol, when Errol gets back, he'll do a strip that goes here, just like a leather strip. Yep. And then it gets like a, another little, like, that's like a leather little plate and it sort of covers up the whole bit. Yep. It sort of wraps around about halfway, stops it here somewhere. Nice. And then obviously done a little bit underneath here. I know you haven't fastened any of this stuff, but. Not yet. Um, Clue code ready to go in position. Uh, just the front section. So I'm still yeah. going to do towards the front because we don't want it to bind up against the pedals. Okay. So I'm going to get in there and drill, just drill some holes. Yep. And once those are in, we'll do our side panels. Yep. And I went, um, as managed well getting our main holes for the rib nuts. And then from there, when they come out, I'll put the seat belts in properly before, before those go in. Yep. Just like a little more access here. 
So I'm not fighting this, this skin and that at the same time. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Getting there. I said this morning, um, we've spent majority of the morning and probably most of lunch sort of getting um, the windows all prepared uh, and then also the doors. So I'll sort of show you a little bit of that. Um, Deceptive kind of uh, has taken a lot of time to get to these stages here, but obviously there'll be some filler that'll come in. Um, so that's why the tapes are around there just to guide us. Um, so we've done it on this side. I've also had to get the wind, uh, the uh, front windscreen prepared as well too, so for, for gluing. So you'll see here we've done the same sort of thing all the way around. Again, sort of doesn't look like much, but um, I can assure you it has been a bit of work. And I'm just going to scoot underneath here. It's all a little bit tight in here at the moment. Uh, lots of... Uh, <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. Maintenance going on over there. There's an avionics check going on over there. This is a new factory build, uh, ready to go out to a customer. Shout out to whoever that is. Uh, I've got some wings and a sling two over the back. Uh, I've got another um, high wing that's in there for maintenance uh, and a TSI that's in there for maintenance and, uh, and then this beauty as well. Um, so yeah, so again, sort of had to do very similar sort of stuff with the um, doors as well so you'll sort of see that we've had to do a fair bit of cutting in there uh, and that'll be all filled uh, I'd say probably tomorrow so again sort of everything in the build you you kind of sit there and you look at some of those tasks and I probably would look at that sitting at home thinking oh yeah there's not much work in that but I can assure you you just sort of having to um, sense check things all the time and it just takes a long time and you want it to be a really nice nice finish so well at least at least I do um, this plane is going to be with me for probably all of my days so I really want to make sure that uh, that what we do is really good so that's what we've been up to um, I'll just come back in underneath here again um, we're sort of just continuing along with the, a lot of the centre console stuff. Um, just getting things prepared in here. Um, so again, you know, a lot of cutting. Uh, so just in here, a lot of cutting um, and a lot of, you know, just being really exact with things. Um, so that's all, all carpeted in now and glued. Um, Errol's been selling a lot of um, slings today, um, but yeah, so lots of progress today. Uh, sorry, I haven't really uh, shown you too much of what's been going on, but I'm just trying to enjoy it a little bit today. Cheers, guys. Here is a fun little milestone. We're finally installing those custom leather, leather seats onto the seat frames of the Sling TSI. For those of you that have been with this series since week one, You'll remember these frames being created all the way back then. So it feels awesome to see these guys coming back into the storyline in a finished form. I want to say a huge credit to the Sling factory team in South Africa. They've done a beautiful job carrying the Patronus design theme right through into the cockpit. It really ties the whole scheme together. Seats usually go in right near the very end of the assembly. So this was a welcome reprieve from doing all the messy carpet, gluing and taping jobs we've been slogging through in particular on this day. Watching them slide into place throughout this time lapse is truly one of those moments where it feels like it's all finally coming together.
the engine's been getting a little bit forgotten on camera, but trust me, there's been a ton of progress happening here too. It's been all hands on deck, and not everything makes it to video, but plenty has been getting done behind the scenes. Thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, that's it for the day. Hopefully, I've given you a good snapshot, albeit a shorter one, of what happened during the day. I wanted to leave you with this little clip because that's going to be me on Thursday. It's been about five months since I've been in a plane and just looking forward to jumping back into a sling too to start getting familiar again with the mighty slings. Until next time, guys.